Here's an option to make your animal. I found some plasticine and I have rolled two balls, one for the body and one for the head. I'm pinching it into a muzzle shape and I pinched in some ears. And there are all four little cylinders to put some feet on. I'm using a pokey tool to make the shapes I need to make and just kind of separate pieces when it's very small for my hands. I'm going to add some other colours, so I'm making a little muzzle out of yellow just to give it some contrast. And I've put a nose on and I'm using that pokey tool, it's a needle tool from clay, to make holes in the muzzle. Then I'm adding some tiny dots for eyes and then I'm going to start rolling because I need to make some stripes. So the eyes are in place and now I'm picking up those ears again and making a nice long tail. So I roll a sausage shape and add in some colour. So here goes some tiny little sausages which I'm rolling and then pushing onto the orange colour to make my tiger stripey. So I add them, they don't have to be perfect stripes so you can see going around the face they're not all the same length. And then round his back and there you go, you can see he's starting to look like a real tiger. Here he is, Ted is in the building. So this is how to use iMotion. It's a free app that you can download. You click on new movie, give your movie a name. As you can see, hello. You need to click on manual. Do not use time lapse. That will automatically uh, take the photo, so you need to click on manual. When you've got your uh, set ready to go, you will need to click capture. The button that I'm using at the top there allows there to be an overlay. This is great in case you wobble it or you move your animal in the wrong place. You can then push everything back to where it originally was because it gives you a ghost image, which is really helpful and will make sure that you do not do too many large movements. You can then speed it up, slow it down using the the different timings for the frames per second as you can see I'm doing here. When you finish that you need to click stop twice. With this tool you can actually, is what you're going to see now, is I've actually included some hands by mistake which is going to happen. You're going to need to delete those because we absolutely don't want any hands in there you can delete these photos. It's a little bit tricky, but have a play around. Also, if you stop and wanna come back to it, you can click stop and then go back to resume, which I've just shown you in the video. Here, I'm gonna show you how you can delete frames. You need to press the play button and then skip until you see the, the picture that you want to delete. Click the one that's got the little photo and the minus sign, click it twice and it will delete. You can also add in any still frames using the camera picture at the top, or you can add in any other photos using the middle one, or you can even add some music, and also you can add in some of your own talking if you want to make your animal talk. You then need to press export and export it to your photo library, and you are done.